So hi, hello and welcome, my Crop Hunter here and today in this video I'd like uh, to show you the stages of cell division, the stages of mitosis. Mitosis is the cell division in those cells that have a nucleus, eukaryotes. Um, bacteria are prokaryotes, they also divide but uh, it works quite differently and this is not something I'm going to be talking about today, maybe in a different video. What you're able to see here behind me, these are of course uh, many hundred of different cells but all of the red Red structures that you see, all of the red oval round structures, these are the nuclei um, because uh, during the preparation of uh, this slide they've used a stain that stains the DNA and inside the nucleus um, you find DNA. And what I'm going to do now is, is I'm going to quickly um, show you a little bit, I'm going to pause everything here and I'm going to quickly show you a little bit of what we're able to see. Um, you can of course see the cell wall on the outside and inside uh, many of those cells you see those red dots and these red dots are the nuclei um, so this is where you can find uh, yeah, where you can find the DNA. Now you're going to see that some of the cells interestingly uh, don't seem to have a nucleus so how is this possible? Well um, actually they do have a nucleus here it's just not able to see it because during the preparation of this microscope slide um, they made a very thin section on through the tissue it's plant tissue here um, and then if you cut above or below the nucleus uh, then of course you're not able to see it and and uh, a cell, after all, is a three-dimensional structure, and uh, yeah, therefore it's possible, of course, to kind of yeah cut the nucleus away during the preparation. Um, but uh, don't worry, uh, there are still plenty of uh, nuclei visible here uh, for us uh, to do a little um, yeah observation. And uh, when you look through all of those, uh, then maybe you are able to see uh, um, yeah, one or other um, which are actually dividing. And uh, at this magnification, it might be a little bit difficult to. See see um, but at the higher magnification look carefully maybe you're going to able you're able to see that some of them are not quite as round and sometimes so I'm going to just pause it here sometimes uh, there's something a little bit strange yeah, um, in, inside the cell yeah and maybe you can already see I think a uh, two or three cells uh, that look a little bit different of course I'm going to point them uh, yeah, to you look at this one over here yeah this one over here this one over here and this one over here, um, these three cells are dividing and those long structures that you see inside the cell here, um, yeah, these are the chromosomes. And uh, what these chromosomes are, the chromosomes are of course DNA, but they're very packaged up and very dense DNA. And the reason why the cells uh, form chromosomes is, is because this way the DNA can be moved much more easily inside the cell. Um, do not forget that one single cell can have several meters of DNA in one cell only um, and uh, during after cell division both cells um, have to have the same DNA. Just imagine uh, that you're in a room uh, which contains I don't know many many hundreds of meters of, of string of wool a huge gigantic pile and then you're supposed to separate it out. It's very difficult if not impossible to move the strings around inside the room, uh, room because it's just a pile of, 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 of yeah a total pile of, of strings which cannot be separated and the cell has the same problem with the DNA the DNA is, is extremely long um, and uh, very yeah yeah <laughs> like like very messed up really um, and loose um, in in the, in the nucleus so it has to be packed properly into those chromosomes so that you're able to move them around in a cell. And we're going to have a look at this and I would like to step you through the stages um, of cell division of mitosis now. Well most of the cells that you see here are not dividing, um, they are in interphase and something very important happens in interphase and during interphase the DNA is copied. So um, yeah all of those cells with a round nucleus are in interphase and uh, they are preparing for division because the DNA is copied. However um, yeah some of the cells might actually start to divide and here we already see three cells that starts to divide. Um, where are they? Look, look at this here. This one over here, yeah, this one over here and this one over here. Look at the, the nucleus does not appear to be as, as, um, as, as yeah, dark, dark as the others. So something is kind of happening here. 
and basically um, it kind of looks a little bit granulated yeah not not very uniform in color but um, yeah it looks there like there are white spaces uh, in between here and the reason is is because the DNA inside the nucleus started to form these chromosomes um, and it started to, to become packaged up and uh, therefore um, the nucleus um, yeah, starts uh, to also dissolve and to disappear um, and uh, you also start to see now the chromosomes uh, uh, by kind of yeah seeing a little bit uh, you see it starts to become a little bit longer here and those structures are therefore now condensed DNA so let's move on a little bit because the next uh, the next uh, um, yeah, clip uh, shows you now the next stage you see the DNA has to be now properly separated and uh, the, this has to be done uh, first by pulling all of the chromosomes to the equator of the cell the equator is the middle of the cell and uh, so basically the arrow now points to the plane um, yeah, which it in indicates the equator and look at that uh, the arms of the chromosomes are pointing outwards okay and this is why it's uh, quite easy to identify the equator the whole cell goes all the way all the way up down here and you also are able to recognize that it does not have a nucleus anymore Look, um, all of the other cells that you see over there, they have this round nucleus. The round nucleus is now gone, but instead of this nucleus, we now have those gigantic chromosomes inside the cell. Um, all of them were pulled to the equator. Now, you might wonder a little bit, hmm, it's, uh, why is it that they're pointing outwards? Well, this is because the chromosomes are flexible, and uh, first they are more or less randomly distributed inside the cell, and as the, um, the cell uh, pulls them uh, to the equator, they arms fold backwards okay and, and uh, yeah because they're flexible and uh, therefore they appear to be uh, lined up and in parallel like this this is known as a metaphase the question is now is, is why why is it important to line up the chromosomes here um, in the center of the cell and the short answer is well this way you create a symmetry you see the two daughter cells that are formed later they have to be genetically the same genetically identical and as a first step to make sure that both cells have the same DNA um, you create a symmetry by pulling all of the DNA to the middle of, of the cell so that later on it can be well fairly shared among the two DNAs uh, the, the two cells not the DNAs yeah so let's move on here um, a little bit I'm going to show you also another uh, picture of a, a metaphase uh, cell um, yeah here for example same story here is the, the that's the equator of the cell which will then later be the plane of division and you see that the chromosomes arms that they point outwards um, towards the sides um, of the cell so this here is now anaphase that's the next stage um, where the identical pieces of uh, DNA the identical chromatids as they're called the sister chromatids are separated and pull apart okay um, and how does this work now can see that uh, here um, yeah these are the poles of the cell okay and here in the middle this was the equator and um, the cells the chromosomes are now separated so if you've got um, identical sister chromatids and then they will separate in anaphase yeah and are pulled to the poles and this happens of course um, yeah um, uh, several times and this actually explains also why the arms um, of the chromosomes are pointing inwards uh, to the center to the equator of the cell uh, so the Id identical sister chromatids as they're called um, are now separated and the DNA identical DNA is now separated so that uh, yeah the two cells will have the same DNA yeah so um yeah so this is anaphase here um and um, i think uh, i'm not i don't know if i've got another one um uh, coming up uh, yeah here here there are actually three of them here that's a, a nice anaphase cell down here yeah and here on the other side as well yeah yeah it's actually quite unusual that you have uh, so many um, anaphase cells next uh, to each other yeah and here we're back again in prophase but no 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 that is not correct uh, we're missing actually we're missing something because i wanted to talk about the telophase which is the last stage and um, yeah the last uh, stage telophase can also be found here as a matter of fact the arrow is already pointing over it this is, uh, is not in the last stage and you see that this even though there is only one cell here there are again two nuclei I one and two so those uh, chromosomes that were separated here 
okay, they will start to form loose DNA again and the nucleus is going to reform. Now you might kind of wonder, well, what is this pink stuff here in between the two nuclei? Well, these are the leftovers of the so-called spindle fibers. The spindle fibers are protein fibers that were originally used to pull the chromosomes inside the cell um, and they're still present here. And now those spindle fibers are used to uh, carry material to the equator of the cell to make a new cell wall. Yeah, so those spindle fibers have uh, multiple uses, uh, well, and they're used for transporting uh, substances um, around in a cell. And uh, first they were used to separate the chromosomes, and now they're used to make a new cell wall and a new cell membrane between the cells. And this is uh, then when we ultimately have two cells um, at the end, and this is then the last stage of cell division. And this physical splitting of the cell into two cells is referred to as cytokinesis um, because up to this point we have not physically divided the cytoplasm yet. We just have separated the DNA inside the cell and only after we've separated the DNA then we're able to physically divide the cytoplasm. And this is now happening here. So this is basically, um, yeah, all of the stages. However, I do have a last picture, a one that actually I found a little bit difficult. And I would like to ask you now, which stage is this here? Look at this. This is a little bit strange. Now, when I first saw it, I said, yeah, this must be kind of a prophase, right? Well, actually, could be, but maybe not. And I'm going to tell you why. Because um, here you can see the individual chromosomes quite well. But look at, uh, look at them. Most of these chromosomes are actually not straight, but bent. Yeah, um, And this is actually an indicator that uh, they are already being pulled. Either they're being pulled to the middle of the cell in metaphase, or um, yeah, I think this is what happened because uh, I don't think that the, the sister chromatids um, are separated here already because it looks like almost that they're still together. So I think that this could actually be um, a metaphase, but not seen from the side like the others, uh, other pictures that I showed you, but seen uh, from head onwards, basically. Yeah? So um, this is, I think, uh, why it looks a little bit different. Uh, so the plane of division is not here in the middle somewhere, but yeah, it's kind of the same cell is kind of extending into, in your case, into the monitor and, and outwards, and then it's dividing um, across in a different plane. Yeah? And I think this is the reason why it looks uh, a little bit strange, um, because um, it is not the side view, uh, but it's like a top view um, of the chromosomes uh, being pulled. Yeah, I would say, my guess, okay? Yeah, so yeah, this was uh, basically, uh, that's basically uh, all of the stages here from interphase, which is not part of mitosis, but cell, uh, uh, but the cell starts to prepare for division by uh, copying the DNA to prophase, um, where the DNA starts to condense, uh, then metaphase, they line up in the, in the middle here, anaphase, where the identical DNA, uh, the identical sister chromatids are separated, telophase, which is a reversal of prophase where the nuclei start to reappear and then at the very end of telophase we have the actual division of the cell. So you see it's a highly organized, a highly organized uh, process um, and uh, yeah, which happens in, in, yeah, in almost all living things. When I say almost all living things, you have to be a little bit careful. Bacteria, as I mentioned before, do not do that. Um, but all higher organisms, uh, all multicellular organisms, it doesn't matter if we're looking at plant animals or fungi or protozoa, will do uh, mitosis. Um, yeah. And I'm going to leave it at that. Uh, yeah, I hope uh, that uh, this uh, video was informative for you. I wish you all the best. Happy microbe hunting as always and uh, see you around next time. Bye-bye.